The Auburn Tigers. Brian Harson comes in from Boise State, has to figure out exactly what to do, so he hires offensive coordinator Mike Bobo from South Carolina. They were old Mountain West buddies back when Bobo was at Colorado State, and he brought in defensive coordinator Derek Mason, who I think works better as a defensive coordinator than a head coach. Love Derek Mason as yes. uh, D.C. Yes. Love Derek Mason as a D.C. The question this year will be, can you find any skill players? Can you find any wide receivers? Because they lost all three of their big ones last year. And can you can you somehow teach the bad tendencies out of Bo Nix to make him effective as a passer? We already or, know he's a good runner. Or do you have the balls to go with somebody else? To start somebody else. Like TJ Finley, who transferred in from yeah. LSU. Like that's, that's the difference is, is there's no doubt Bo's going to start this season. Oh, yes. But if it goes south quickly, that might be the best thing for Auburn in the long run for the season. Very much to, so. Is to be able to move on from him. Yes. The entire offensive line comes back. That's right. So that's good. So that's you got huge. five offensive You're talking line. about a really good offensive line, yes. too. Yes. And the running back, Tank Bigsby, and, uh, and Sean Shivers, right? So you, you got a running game. Yeah. Which no, they've, is, got, they've got a foundation. You, you either need Bo to be better, to take, to take a step and to be better, or you, you need to realize he's not the guy quickly and preferably in one of these games that you, you can win. Yes. You know? If, yes. if if you get through Akron, Alabama State, Georgia State, and and can win those games, but realize Bo's not the dude, that's the best thing that could happen. Yes, Derek Mason, of course, takes over for Kevin Steele, who everybody thought he was going to get the job. I mean, it was just a. I have no idea what Steele's credentials are. Uh, I don't. I don't think he has the resume to be close. No. To a head coach in the SEC, I think that's a, a little pretty, insane to me. Yeah. Well, yeah, but it, he had he had the ear of. You know, some uh, important people Obviously, there. thankfully, that didn't matter. That did not matter. So, But Kevin Steele did have good defenses at Auburn. Up until last season, he had four straight years of top 20 defenses, and, and they regressed everywhere last year. But they lost a lot of dudes. Now, they do have a lot of talent for Derek Mason. It's going to be a complete system shift, but I, there is talent there. Yeah, so, the, the, the system shift doesn't worry me. I trust Derek Mason. I, think I do, he's too. He's a really good coach. He'll have those guys ready. He'll have those guys prepared. This Auburn defense will look a lot like all the Auburn defenses that we remember that are really good. I think so. Will the offense be able to find anything? That's going to be That's the key. question. The win total sits at 7. To go over is plus 120. To go under is minus 150. Golly, this huge juice. A lot of juice. The, the weird thing is, is – I, f- I find it strange that they won't move the line. They're just moving the juice. It's yeah, it's weird. Like there, there's no half win here. Like Arkansas was six, Auburn was seven. It's uh, it's strange. Like I, I have to tell you, I think you knew what I was going to do on this. I'm going under because I don't believe that they will shift off of Bo Nix, and I just don't think that he's that good of a quarterback. Yeah, I mean that means they got to go eight wins to to break this thing. And and when you're I'm playing in the SEC that. West, and you have to travel to Happy Valley. Yeah, like I, I don't. Well, see. and your cross rival is Georgia. Yeah, I mean you got at Penn State, at LSU, Georgia at home, at Arkansas, which ain't easy. Nope. You got Ole Miss coming in with Lane Kiffin at A and M. I mean, at, and then Alabama at the end of the season. Yeah. I, where I mean, this team lost to South Carolina last year. Yeah. I don't, I don't see it. I can't. Get I think eight. this team's gonna be a lot better than last year's team. I think you could go six and six and be a much improved version of what of, you were. Of what you were, a hundred percent. So, so going under seven, even with the juice at minus one fifty, seems like the much more likely I just, scenario. I just can't get to eight wins. I agree. With if you. they get to eight wins, this is this is the. I mean, Brian Harson needs to be up for coach of the year in the SEC. Hundred percent. I mean, that's just the truth, right? Maybe nationally. Like, I, yeah, I mean, maybe you I get mean, to eight wins. That means that you have beaten at least somebody between Penn State. LSU, Georgia, Georgia Alabama, Alabama, and A and M. Yeah, no, like, yeah, you had to beat you had to beat at least one of those guys, and maybe two of them. Exactly, and I I don't think they can do it, and not lose to Ole Miss or Mississippi State or Arkansas. Exactly, who are all on the come up. Yeah. Anyway, all right. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.